Hi, I'm Macy Cheatham, and these are my values that I think are important when leading groups and communities. I believe that trust is the basis of success within groups. This trust starts from the top, which is the leader of a group. A leader must have trust within him or herself in order to develop confidence in the messages expressed to the group. This confidence and reliability within a leader creates group members that are willing to follow. After this trust is developed from the top, it can then move down to trust within the group members. It is important to be able to rely on your fellow members and have the sort of trust that nobody will be judged for the input they provide. For example, I should be able to express my thoughts in a, on an idea within a group and not be scared of what my group members will think. Developing a safe environment and trust is important for success. An example of trust within communities at work is within the Florida State softball team. The members of our team put a lot of trust within the leaders or the coaches to make the best decisions for the team and I know that all of my teammates have trust in one another to be honest and hardworking at all times. Trust takes time and effort, but when achieved, groups become teams and goals become reality. Sacrifice is another value that I think is important when leading groups and communities. A leader must be able to sacrifice what might be best individually for what is best for the group. I think the greatest sacrifice when leading a group is time. Leaders should be willing to sacrifice time that they could be spending elsewhere for members of the group. An example of this is within our service learning groups. Each member of our group is sacrificing time out of their day to change the lives of young children at Kids Incorporated. Although there may be times where temptation creeps in telling us to stay in bed and sleep a little longer or go hang out with your friends instead, we know that our leadership within Kids Incorporated is bettering the kids' lives and knowing that makes the sacrifices so rewarding. The last value that is significant when leading groups and communities is unity. A group is smarter than its smartest individual. Any time a leader can make a group or the team become unified, the group is going to be far more successful. The first two values, trust and sacrifice, go hand in hand with the team becoming unified. Without the first two values, you may not have a team with their first priority of becoming a unit. A leader needs to take the group they have and become one to move forward with their vision. Individuals within the unit are going to come together with different ideas and it is the leader's responsibility to take these ideas and see what can make the group stronger. The leader needs to be the one to manage different ideas and individuals of the group in order to make sure the team stays unified. A team needs to have one common goal or vision and stay molded together and not let distractions get in the way of them pushing. Thank you for listening and to wrap it all up, those are my three main values to being an effective leader within groups and communities.